we were also very lucky that Skeet hates me and hit me with a, a phone. <laughs> you know, I, I was just mad. He was playing it too funny. I mean, he just doesn't like it when the funny guy gets the laugh. In Scream 2, we got to see clips from Stab and in that Tori Spelling plays Sydney and Luke Wilson plays Billy. Matthew, who would you have liked to see play Stu? Oh, your questions are good. Uh, obviously, there's one choice that rises above them all. Tom Cruise would have been a- I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise would be amazing as Stu. And I think it's time we made the offer. Yeah, you think Tom is ready for- Yes! Is there a stab two in the future? So Matthew, you recently tweeted that you don't think that Stu, like that a TV would have taken Stu out. How would you like to see, how would you envision Stu returning to Scream 5? Scarred? Well, he's not in 5, I'll tell you that. But whenever he comes back somewhere in the future, because that's what happens in horror movies all the time, they bring the killers back. He's scarred, but yet handsome with great abs. <laughs> <laughs> so prosthetics, but like, he's like shredded. <laughs> it's all the time in prison. All he does is work out, comes out, yo, oh, that'd be amazing. Just come out ripped. Shaved head? Sh like shaved head, like scarred face, yeah. but like ripped. Oh, that's a good pitch. My that's wife like will a... be super excited. Yeah. Will face tats for you or not? Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Throat tat, face tat. Like, that would be badass. Yes. I, so I really like that. I actually am really excited about this. Can yeah, we I, get behind this movement? I can't oh, wait for Scream 6. I think Can we do, like, fan art? I need fan art of, <laughs> of, of Stu post-jail, scarred up and ripped like a comic book character. I will ask our <laughs> department to get on that immediately. <laughs> be like sexy and a gay icon and people love him for uh, all generations will be attracted to Stu. This, uh, this has to happen. That's what we're doing now. But I do think the face added another, they add a little, a little zest to it. <laughs> God, I'm so, I, actually, I have to tell you something. That made me so oddly excited. <laughs> Skeet, you said in the past, you had no idea that Scream was like a horror comedy. And then yeah. you- do you remember what scene or like what day on set made you realize that it was not just a straightforward day, day one that's right day one <laughs> day one scene one take one um changed my whole perception of what it is we were out there doing i i mean you know i think part of it was just the mindset of billy and me getting into that mindset that i saw it as this very serious documentary about two killers in high school and i was researching serial killers and psychology of them and all this stuff and so i didn't really key into the humor of the story until take one of day one and it's the fountain scene uh and and matt and jamie obviously have some very humorous moments in it and and I just remember thinking what are they doing like what like don't they know they're how ruining the movie like they're like this isn't funny it's not supposed to be funny and uh man was I wrong but I very quickly <laughs> like aligned to the fact that it, it took many instruments to make this orchestra yo I'm gonna gut your in a second kid tell me something did you really put her liver in the mailbox? Because I heard that they found her liver in the mailbox next to her spleen and her pancreas. Where are you good? I'm trying to eat here. So I know, Skeet, you were the one wearing the ghost face costume um, in the scene, you know, behind. We actually both wore it in the same scene, uh, just for kicks. Go okay. ahead, sorry, I cut off your question. Well, that, that was my question, so oh, okay. I think we're on the same page. Okay. Yeah, it was just it was just something, you know, we were we were all there and, you know, and you're not in the scene, you're kicking around and whatever. And I was like, uh, you know, Wes, can I can I like do one take in the and and he was like, Yeah, of course, yeah, sure, whatever. And and so I got to and uh yeah, it's that moment Jamie's watching Halloween and and you know, look behind you, look behind you and Ghost face goes behind him. I don't know whether I'm the one in the take that's used or if it's maybe Matt's, because he did the same thing. Maybe he did the same thing. Yeah. Okay. 
So you were truly a team on this set. I love that. Through- well, we're on the desert island together. We're not <laughs> playing games, Lexus. I love that. Okay. Do you know who was killing who? Like who, like if it was Billy versus Stu, do you guys ever like argue about that? Was there back and forth? Sadly, we think that we had discussions while shooting that nobody really remembers definitive answers. And between Kevin Williamson, the two of us and Wes, nobody really knows. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's sort of up to, I mean, there's plenty of fan sort of fiction and so. I was going to say, I, I did, I watched yeah. a 20 minute video walking me through it, but that, yeah. I'll tell that guy that he's so just. We don't, we don't, we don't have that answer. You know? We get asked that a lot too. And it's, it's. It's they, disappointing they, every time we say People come no, up no. with theories I think they've worked years on and they, yeah. like, so I, you know, but, and you're like, we don't know. And you just see there. Yeah. They're, they're you know, what we should say is we know, but we're not telling you. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's our new answer. answer. That's our new answer. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're half right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep working. Keep working <laughs> on it. <laughs> so there was recently a moment in Loki where Tom Hiddleston says to a character, I'll gut you like a fish, Casey, which is obviously a reference to Scream. Has oh, there wow. ever been a time where you were shocked by a Scream reference in pop culture? I did not know that. Did you know that yeah, that was Loki? I'm not aware of that, no. Huh. Um, not really. I mean, I will say yeah, that- I don't prolific- remember any right offhand, to be yeah, honest. I, I will say the amount of Scream masks in the world is, that to me is surprising. How prevalent it is at Spirit, you know, every Halloween, or if you're, you know, handing out trick-or-treating, you know, you're handing out candy, like every 10 people come up is in is in that mask. And that's, you know, that's a little, it's, that's that's strange. Have you ever been like giving out candy on Halloween and saw a, a ghost face costume? A million times. What was that? Well, my kids have been ghost face. At- well, I say, do you know who I'm dressed up as with Halloween? They're like, no. I'm like, I'm dressed up as you. <laughs> I'm dressed up as the, gay, the killer from Scream. <laughs> and they're like, no, you're not. I'm like, oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I baffle them. That's a uh, I'm movie. the killer from Scream. And that's why I am this, Chris, this oh, Christmas. This I love that. Movie. This Christmas. I was going to ask if you guys consider Scream a Christmas movie since it came out, I believe, it was five days before Christmas. No, I think it's so <laughs> festive. And it, so it festive. just. There's so much love and like, you know. Kumbaya. It's yeah. a kumbaya experience. It's, 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 a very, it's a very heartwarming family film. Oh, I, yeah. I, Didn't it come out on Christmas? I, I believe. Christmas it was, Eve, I believe, right? I, or yeah, I think it was day. a few days before. A few days before. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Matthew, obviously you have to know that, you know, pretty much all we my friends do is quote your your lines from that ending scene. And I know that, you know, you ad-libbed a few lines like the, my mom and dad are going to be so mad at me and the Houston have a problem. Were there any other lines that you ad-libbed during I don't that? think Houston we have a problem. I think Houston we have a problem was in the script actually. Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, but yeah, you hit me with the phone date for sure. My mom and dad are gonna be so mad at me. I think I'm dying here, man. Oh no, that was in the script. That's in the script, but the mom and dad isn't. Yeah. Mom and dad, hello? My mom and dad. (laughs) But look, I think it speaks to, you know, Kevin wrote an incredible script and then Wes sort of let us have, you know, we would take a run after, you know, we'd, we'd get a take for ourselves and I would throw stuff in and I was lucky he just kept some of it. And we were also very lucky that Skeet hates me and hit me with a phone. (laughs) <laughs> you know, I, I was just mad. He was playing it too funny. I mean, he just doesn't like it when the funny guy gets to laugh. Be like, <laughs> things. One of the great things about this 25th anniversary is that you get to look back on a moment in your life when you were young and sort of, you know, as our introduction to Hollywood, it was sort of our first hit b- between all of us. And there's this really sort of emotional connection to that film because we were all kids, you know, and it's just been really lovely to like spend the last two days reminding ourselves of like how much fun we had and, and, and how special that movie is and making that movie was at that time. Between Wes and who we were as people and sort of no kids and no wives or husbands and unattached and sort of like just going for it and, and making something that ends up being iconic all these years later. It's sort of a lovely little reminder of your youth. Yeah. Speaking of iconic 
Matthew, will you please say that I'm feeling woozy live? I'm a feeling woozy, all right? I can't take any more. I'm feeling woozy, yeah. yeah I'm, uh, I'm feeling woozy, man. <laughs> this, it is kind of like, it's kind of like, um, hey, man. It's a little like uh, the dude. Hey, man. <laughs> it does sound like the dude. I'm woozy, dude. man. I think I'm dying. He's, he's got that thing. It's like Crispin Glover. I think I'm dying here, man. <laughs> like a weird little voice actually.